when I first moved here, Danny was like, I didn't buy a TV for like three days. Because Danny was like, I, man, I'm going to buy you a TV. Don't, don't. All right. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a TV. That's nothing. We go to Best Buy now. What card you want to use? And then he going to tell me, you don't need no TV. I'll bring you a TV. <laughs> I'll just, just bring you a TV. I'll just bring you a TV. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit back, relax, you already know why you make studios. Yeah. It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. Let's go. It's the Danny Brown Show. Sit yeah. back, relax, you already know why you make studios. Yeah. It's the Danny Brown Show. We about to get live. Let's go. Let's go. What's this you smoking on, man? Huh? What is this you smoking on? Elf bar. What is this? Is that weed? You can't hit it, nigga. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm trying to have a... Man, you eat ass and everything else, bro. You have not hit my vape. Who doesn't eat ass after 30? Me, nigga. How? You the was... fuck? That's for broke niggas that need a place to live, bro. I don't eat no this ass. This is true. This is some truth to that. No, that's not necessarily. If you if you like fucking a bitch in the ass, I'm you I'm not eating eat no that ass, bro. That shit feel like elbow meat. I mean, if it's clean and pristine... An ass can never be clean. See, you don't like getting your ass ate. That's what it is. No, nigga. I want to get fuck? reciprocated. I don't you never gotta... want my ass to be moist, bro. And the funnest part is, is the position you got to get in. This nigga want to bend good. his legs back. This yeah. nigga daddy. <laughs> we, we about to take your Detroit card, nigga. About... <laughs> <laughs> and this it's nigga just... don't act like he from Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's Pennsylvania shit? I don't know, but it sounds like a nigga from Pennsylvania want his I would think that'd be a little legs more... folded up like he get his diaper changed. That's a little more Vegas. <laughs> Vegas, yeah, Vegas, them niggas, wow. I ain't got no choice. No, Reno. Reno, Reno just niggas from Reno. I mean, it's hot, it's sunny. So I just want to tell everybody watching the podcast, I've been knowing Danny Brown for a few years, and this Negro just decided to follow me, bro. Like, I mean, bro, yeah. see, you want to keep going. I don't, I don't, I don't really, Instagram, I, I don't have, um, only reason I have Instagram on my phone right now is because I just went to Europe, so I had to put it on there to be posting shit. While bro, you there. know, like, I only have Instagram on my computer. Because, you know, it's just triggering. It's a triggering thing to be on. You computer. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And Instagram on computer, looking at the followers on there is terrible. Really? So, I don't even click it. I don't even click it to even bother yeah, So, you probably been fine. I just Danny don't, don't understand. Them is almost like fighting words, bro. Like fighting action. Like, you sorry. don't follow your I'm boy sorry. back. I, I'm sorry for the buck. You ain't, you ain't, I ain't seen no, you ain't said, you ain't putting no like. I don't say no comment. I do like your stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Bro, you get like 500,000 views. How you gonna see my one like? You do. You kind of do in, in the shit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to start commenting wild <laughs> shit, bro. I followed you back. It's over yeah, now. Yeah, but part two, I'm more of a Twitter motherfucker, though. I've never been an Instagram guy. I'm trying to get used to Twitter, bro. I, I didn't realize that was the thing. I didn't realize, like, niggas like, man, you- Twitter cool. Twitter cool. Twitter always been my thing. I've yeah. never been an Instagram person. Like, you know? You just so. put your thoughts out. Yeah. I don't know, because just taking pictures in public places and shit, or just, like, videos, like, I'm just, I just feel uncomfortable. No, you just use it for marketing, bro. Like you, you. I know. It. I mean, that's all, that's I'm all sure, I do. I'm sure somebody else is doing it for you because I don't see you doing it. Taking it, those clips from your podcast. And yeah, putting, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not doing that shit. That's the homie. Shouts out to the booth boys and all them. What's up? What y'all motherfuckers over there? Yo, oh, what's up? Yeah, because they hot. This is the second time we've done this. The first one ended up a, a hit em up podcast. Yeah, Danny I was Brown, on that motherfucker. I was yeah. saying fuck everybody. I was yeah, going I through the feelings. I told him we can't drink today because that. <laughs> that that nigga so, told yeah. me he, he told me he beat up a fat bitch over a bag of chips when he was in eighth grade, and then it just started from there. Oh yeah, I beat up a blind bitch too, <laughs> with a cast on her arm. This nigga daddy said, he but was no, a I actually <laughs> lost this fight. This is a seventh grade. I'm really embarrassed about this shit, and that's why I don't hit women to this day. But you know, when you a kid, you don't have no like. I hit a girl when I was. That's what I'm saying. It's, you it's don't a, know. It's in school. You, you don't, don't really know. have that yeah, in yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? So what I happened? Hit, with, I, I hit girls now though, but I, I do more like a chop to the throat. I don't really beat them. Like, I just, if they talking reckless, just hit them in the throat real quick. Bitches be hitting me. Nah, I don't be hitting the bitches. See, that's the crazy part, bro. Most domestic violence is by the hands of, of women. Woman, yeah. But men and you gotta don't want to look it. like pussies. You got to eat it. You feel like a bitch, too. Yeah. You be like, man, I'm a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I got my ass whooped. I was good for four months. <laughs> <laughs> what type of, was it a black girl? No. White chick? I did, cause my, I got jumped by some black bitches. The fuck? Hold on. How did, why did black girls jump you? Because my girlfriend, okay, I was at my girlfriend's house at this time. White chick, black chick? No, it's a black chick. Okay. This is this high school time. This is before I could get the white girls. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling out. And uh, yeah, but she was cheating on me. 
You know uh-huh. high school shit. She was fucking talking to some other nigga or some shit, and I guess I caught her. I was like, fuck you, bitch. I'm leaving the crib. And I left the crib, and then I was at the bus stop. And then I was at the bus stop, and then she, her and her cousins came up to the bus stop to try to get me to come back, but she brought uh, bodyguards with her, so oh. I don't really feel like that was a get back. And then ba- she was like- Baby D status. Yeah, and I was like, oh, get, get away from me, bitch. I ain't even, I don't even think I, I just think I just ran up with malicious yeah, intent. Yeah. It looked at it looked at a malicious the way I was telling the bitch to get away from me. Yeah. They put the tips on me. <laughs> it was embarrassing, because I was at the bus stop, and they whooping my ass at the bus stop, and then a bus pull up. <laughs> Did you get on? <laughs> You had to. <laughs> they had stopped whooping my ass for to me on. to get on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm on the bus and got my ass whooped. They like, man, those bitches whooped your ass. That's what your ass get. So yeah, that's it. That's why you don't hit women. That's man. what black people say. Anytime something happened to you, they be like, that's what your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's what your ass get. That's why you don't be messing around with women. That's, that's why I could. You could. You couldn't pay me to to do anything like. Uh, Violent to a woman, man. It's just I'm already I'm I'm broken in that department, man. There's I no feel. possible way. Like, yeah, you don't there's gotta no be. way you going a bitch could be having a knife stab at me. I would just take it. Like, oh, I'm dead. I don't <laughs> think I would just end it. Like, there's no way I'm getting out of this. Nah, fuck that, bro. I, nah, domestic violence, and then just to have that tag on you, it's like some next level shit too. It is, but it's better than other things you could be labeled. I, I, it's a lot. Of, that's like the lowest form. You I mean so? that and like, you know, no. pedophiles, woman beater, pedo, because you go to jail, nigga, it's over. Yeah, but a pedo gets more disrespect than a woman beater, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. all them niggas, I mean, you go woman beater and you got like carjackings and murders on your yeah, cases. Yeah, yeah. The niggas like, okay, we kind of see that. <laughs> so we and people that. in prison understand some black girls got hands. I mean, you just protecting yourself and then yeah. you get to, I mean, bro. Your no mom ever punched you? All the time. Yeah, I used to get socked. My grandma hit me with a golf club. Damn. Son. I said, no, that's like, I ain't coming over here no more. <laughs> like, that's how y'all get down. Yeah, once you get bigger, once you get like over the age of 14 in a black household, because most black mamas be between like 5'1 to 5'7. And once you get taller than them at about the age of 13 to 14, they pick up weapons. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, the weapons. Come. People people that was raised in the South that just came off that, um, just came off slavery parents and shit. They got discipline a lot different. Yeah, like it was the, horrible. The whole the whole story. Like I never <laughs> I never had this before, but I've, I'm pretty sure people heard this about the. They make you take a bath and whoop you with a, 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 a extension cord. It's the other way around. You get oh. whooped with the extension cord. Then Look, see, I don't even know the mix of this shit. Yeah, yeah. But that's child abuse to the man. <laughs> my grandma, my my grandma used to go get switches, like five switches, and braid them together. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, I, oh, like yeah. Dookie braids. Yeah, boy, talk about poetic justice braids. That motherfucker, and the marks that leave <laughs> on you too. I just seen the day they saying um a, a, a school in uh, Minneapolis was saying they gonna bring back whooping kids. The same school that said they gonna start firing all the white teachers. I mean, shit. I mean, I y'all hope seen it. that booth where they said they gonna start? Oh, it was, Look, was uh, a Missouri uh, school uh, district reinstated its Spanking if the parents give they okay now. Yeah, I got beat so much. Ain't nobody spanking my kids. I I I don't even spank my kids, bro. I don't agree with it either. I don't yeah. agree with it either. I, I feel like when you got to whoop a kid, you've already lost. I was in that type of family where it was a whole bunch of kids. So yeah. it was that whole shit. They they you had to hold account accountability for everybody. Everybody get their ass. So beat. yeah, one nigga do something wrong. <laughs> everybody getting their ass whooped. Yep, so yep. a nigga getting his ass whooped every day, even if you did nothing wrong, you yep. know? Yeah. They, was, when I went to therapy, they told me that was child abuse. Yeah. I'm, they That's told, why I don't fuck with therapy. They, well, I love better help. Yeah. But Ther- I'm saying they make you hate your parents. Therapy will make you Therapist hate your parents. Hate your parents bro. They will make you hate your parents. Your parents and that's why black yeah, people shit. can't do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But every black person needs therapy, bro. Yeah, I totally agree. Trauma is. I mean, is, but you got to forgive your parents. I think that's the biggest deal. And I think I do. Do you? <laughs> the fuck? What you mean? I mean, because they was just the circumstances they was brought up in, too. A lot of them were like that was some shit. They was raised like that, too. So you you had your time to get your get back because when, <laughs> when they when they get by seventy five is your mama coming to your house or are you putting her in a nursing home? No, I wouldn't put my mama in a nursing home. So you are gonna take care of? Her? I mean, my mama got a lot more responsible um, kids than me, oh, so okay. I don't think she a pick. You, me. you know how black folks do it when when the, when the grandparent gets sick, they put, yeah, yeah. They put the the. Uh, the medical bed in the living room. Yeah, facts. <laughs> they bedroom, they just never leave their bedroom. You ever been on Sunday, he's like, man, I live with my grandma. You go over there, but you never see the grandma. I'm like, nigga, where the grandma they at? They never come out of that room. They just sit in there, you just see them bring food trays to the room and shit. Like soul food, they just take that nigga tray to the door. <laughs> you just see them bring a tray. Niggas ain't paying for no hospital bed, that shit no. costs too much. 
All right, fuck that shit, man. Bro, Jump. growing up, bro, all my grandparents died in their house. They never went to the hospital. No, facts. Mine's too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird, bro. Mine's too. I had great grandparents. Like, why you want some? Why you want to die in the house and then try to leave the house to me, bitch? I don't want your ghost ass in this house. I think that was the luckiest thing that I had was that my 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 great grandparents moved their daughter right next door to them. So my grandma lived next door to my great grandparents. What's crazy, bro? Uh, my grandmama uh, left us all some land in Georgia. And uh, I'm my I was gonna build on there because it's like it's we, just bare land, just it's it, it's it's all the family in like one area. Well, the immediate family, and I got some acres right behind my mom, and I was like, I don't even want to live there. This is like a country, country. Yeah, it's in the country, but I I want I'm gonna. I mean, that's live, retirement type shit. I, no, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking. I'm I'm gonna start that's looking for me a, a a ranch in like two years, bro. I want to. Oh, here you want to about here? Yeah, in probably Texas. Texas, Texas, yeah. Texas ranch. I'm Man, probably, ain't go, you ain't gonna go outside. I'm probably go to Cal or Buda. Where's that? Like you already been doing some twenty research minutes. Yeah, shit. bro. You can get like I, I just need me like 30, 40 acres. I have me a seven acre pond, lake, and fish, and you know that's all I need. I mean, this is the one place where you can build shit. Yeah, here, here, here in yeah, Georgia, Texas. I mean, it's just so much fucking. Like, if you just drive through here, like going through, we fucking went to um. New Orleans or some shit. Like yeah. you just see so much just bare shit. There's nothing happening. Like right, all right, right, I see why this motherfucker so big. Oh, it's yeah, only bro. fucking so many fucking shit that's a- you, actually being you. You so drive much. from here to Houston and you like what, the- bro? You got me fucked. New up. Mexico, New Mexico got hella land. Arizona. Let's hop to some white people shit. We've been talking about this nigga shit for too long, man. Nigga Yo, shit is good. No, that's the best. What are you talking about? It's top tier. <laughs> we already had this conversation. <laughs> Soul food is top tier on, on fucking food. Not anymore to me. That's what that's what I'm seeing black people starting to say. Yeah. But I, I still feel like y'all wrong for this. Man. I don't like soul food like that no more. So I put I put Italian above soul food. And then some real what? good Asian food, that's above soul food. I don't think nothing beating soul food. Indian food? I think I'm just and I'm uh, fuck no. You like curry? Hell yeah. I had curry. That shit leave you musty for two weeks, nigga. I know. I had it good one time, and then after that, it never tastes good to me ever again. So I can't eat none of that shit with curry. So you telling me you'll put orange chicken over fried chicken? Facts. Koreans fry better chicken than black people. Yeah, I already. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm Filipino. But I'm I. This. But I heard the story about how Koreans got the black folks recipe. It was a TikTok. And part two. No, this is way before TikTok. No, no, no. It was on TikTok. I'm not oh, saying they oh, got oh, it from TikTok. Oh, I was about to say, my grandma, <laughs> my grandma fried chicken, I knew that was different than black people fried chicken. I'm like, she doing the same shit, but something different, even smell different when it's, it's crying. It's because they use stuff like cornstarch to batter yeah, the chicken. that's another thing, yeah, too. Yeah, they corn, so it'd be crunchy as hell. Dog, it's fried so good. Like, yeah. the smell of it. Even just, they yeah, just use, yeah. they using all different seasoning. I'm just now coming to terms. That's how you know when you grow up, when you realize Lori's is trash. As hell. I didn't know that though. Like that I mean you put it on everything, bro. Whole you, Foods got shit. the best season blends. They sell them in a little like clear envelope thing, bro. Oh they, shit, like dope. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Whole Foods got the best season blends. But yeah, I just really now I got my own little mix of certain yeah. shit that I like, you know. Like when you go place like we just talking about go to Baltimore, how they do the old bay. Yeah, so they, you get a dip that's like- Yeah, Old Bay, you the death in Baltimore. Yeah, I love that shit, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Them like, honey Old Bay wings do be hitting me. I had Old Bay caramel corn. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, that shit fucked my stomach had, up. You ever had Garrett's popcorn from Chicago? Yeah, all day. Oh, yeah. Think we, got, we got one of those in Michigan. I used to have one of those in Michigan. Oh, yeah, you right grab, there. You yeah, right I used to go there. grab that shit all the time. So white people shit is- um White people shit. Recently got into disc golf. Is what this from the, Burt Kreischer? What the fuck is disc golf? Burt Kreischer played that shit all the time. I was on tour with him for a little bit. It's a lot of fun, but every time I've been, I was the only Mexican there. Disc golf, definitely some white people shit. Yeah, it's for unathletic people. What you, is, you stand in one oh, spot. Oh, throwing the discs into yeah, the yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 it's like some cornhole shit. That's yeah. like all type of other when shit. When I was on tour with Burt, they was beating the hell out of me. I said, y'all don't want to pick oh, up. Oh, but they got disc golf and brews in Austin. We should, we should probably check it out, huh? Nah, I'd rather just shoot threes. It's too hot to be standing out that motherfucker throwing free. Yeah, you got to wait till October here in Austin. I, put, I would kind of start to rethink my life if I was hanging out with y'all chilling in a hot ass field throwing frisbee yeah. in a fucking chain Facts. basket drinking beer. Like who invented that? It just doesn't seem like Somebody a Somebody who wasn't idea. good at football. At my age, everything that's fun to me is comfortable. And nothing about this seems comfortable. So like what I, you like to do, sit on the sofa? I don't even know the... Um, the, 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 the the, the, the uniform for this. Like, what you wear? The, Regular clothes. Go follow Bert Instagram, bro. He'll 
Bert do a lot of shit niggas ain't about to do. Bert is the most in shape fat dude ever. Yeah, I just saw that video of him surfing. Bruh. I thought it was fake. You saw him? Was the video of him fake when he was hiking up the mountain in the snow with no shirt on? It's on his I, Instagram. I don't me. know. Here, let me pull it up. Bert fired, man. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no way I could be doing that shit. <clears throat> I got up to, before before I moved out here, I was 187 pounds, man. How much you weigh now? 158. Oh, you don't lost weight. Yeah, that's my whole that was the goal. <laughs> I looked horrible, man. I can't I can't carry weight, man. Some motherfuckers can't be skinny. I'm one of them niggas, I can't be nothing else. I look terrible. Yeah, where is it? It, it might Miss Pat. Because you know it's some niggas that be fat, but then they be having muscles under the fat. Yeah, that's me. I'm strong, but I got a Yeah, because I got a homie like that. <laughs> like, this nigga is fucking fat as fuck, but he ain't really fat. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. when you really think about it, this nigga really just diesel. It's just, you know. Keep going. It's a video of him, like, hiking up. <clears throat> Bert put so much on Instagram. God damn. Yeah, see, I can't. See, that's how. I need to get. I, what I need is a social media manager. Yeah, me too. I need I'm not a person that's about to post that shit it? all the time. About to... That. Look at that. Oh, that's Red Rocks. That's in um Denver. Oh, oh, he just. That looks real, right? Yeah, that's real. The altitude, bro, altitude alone. Unless they just like dropped him off right there. But he do and be he just and he just hiked like 10 steps. He do be drunk as fuck though. Yeah, when you drunk, nothing matter, bro. I could That's walk, what I'm saying. I could I, I could do that drunk. I could, I could walk <laughs> 20 miles. Not sober, I could do that drunk, though. Like, look at that, bro. Bert has to be in good shape. That's not an easy hike in the snow. No, he's definitely in good shape. That's why they um do that sober October. And um, my whole shit, every time they started, ever since I've been a fan of all the podcasts and shit and watching it, every, time, every year they used to do the sober October, my shit used to be never sober October. <laughs> So I used to do back to back. I would do um, never sober October, and then it'd be no nut November, and then I would nut all November. I feel it, bro. Cause I'm just you know I want to. I, I heard Kevin Gates talking about semen retention. That that just seems impossible for me, don't. I mean, it's twelve days to not release. I mean, after the twelfth day, you a fuck a bitch on a you a fuck a homeless bitch on the street. Bruh, you I, just can't help it no more. I That's said just, after like five days. I think it's if I days. jack off or something after like four or five days, bro, I start going crazy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> start going blind, can't see right. Like, all these bitches be looking good. I'm not like, trying to tell you. Shit be all <laughs> fucked up. That shit what? worse. That shit worse than beer goggles, bro. No, but they say. I mean, that's just no. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of TikTok videos about the same retention. My whole thing, I mean, I get what they're saying, because like even with like the boxers, like you don't post a right. fight before fucking, or like, you know, people that do athletic shit and sports and shit like that. At the end of the day, we do know busting nuts does take a lot of life out of you. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, hey, if you got a lot of anxiety, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do it. I, gotta, <laughs> I, have, I have anxiety, bro. I have anxiety, so I, I have to do it. You got to do what you got to do. But yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't... I, Ah uh, yeah. Um, Are you a back to back nut type person? Like after you bust one, can you go right back? When in I was group? a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> and now at this age, after thirty, it's over with. One. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to one good session. Like, That's why over thirty, you get. I see why you got. I get. I got good yeah, at eating pussy. Oh yeah. Oh, I used to do a lot of coke too. Okay. I and got. Then, I got good at eating pussy in my. And once then your I dick don't 30. get hard, so then you just start doing all type of shit. Like, yeah, I, I got do a homeboy who do hella coke, and he have to pop Viagra. He's playing with death. I've done it too. Yeah, yeah. It makes your heart beat real fast. What, it, Viagra or the Coke Plus of Viagra? I mean, both of them do by themselves. So when you mix them, <laughs> it's extra levels. You know what I'm saying? But ain't but, that what they give old people? But it is a good si- time. Cialis? If, you, if you can live through it, if you can live through it, you're yeah, going to knock, knock these bitches down. That's not like an arrhythmia right there, bro. It, it, it's just a risk. It's just a risk. If, if, if me personally, I'm, not, I'm just not trying to do I mean, I had my fun. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit no more. For real, I ain't doing that shit no Danny more. Danny sound like he's 70, bro. I did, man. I think I am, man. I think I really feel like I lived the life of a motherfucker. I feel I do feel like I lived mad different lives than already in this life of, of me being 40 years old. I've lived like, I feel like different phases of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was selling drugs, I never could thought that I'd be sitting here doing a fucking podcast. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And then just, you know, then that shit turned to me just being a, a, a 
bum. Like it was a, right. a long ass stretch right. of being just a broke nigga that was eating fat bitches asses to get a couch to sleep on. That lasted for a long ass time. Yeah, that's... I'm like, when I'm going to get out of this loop like Westworld. I was in that loop for a minute. That's the LA game plan. Like if, if you if you ain't got a lot of money to move to LA, just find you a, oh, a, I'm, a I'm, ugly I'm, chick. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I mean, I've yeah. <laughs> definitely, yeah. I've definitely been with my share of women for a place to stay. Oh, we all have, you know. We had to, and I'm not talking about my girl right now. She just, know I love. Just her. Don't she know them, I love her. For just real, don't get them pregnant, bro. My my nigga, I'm I'm nothing smoke. <laughs> my shit just come out like dust. Damn, like, damn. It's like powder donuts. Like a nigga blew on a powder <laughs> donut. <laughs> this shit been a wrap. <laughs> I bet it's one point time in my life I was trying to have a baby. But yeah. I wanted it only with an overseas bitch. Ah. So I was like, I could, cause I can just. You might have one, bro. Um, I, I mean, ain't nobody found me yet. I feel, I feel like I have a, a Korean. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I have a Korean and black girl. So I was like, yeah, it was one phase in my life. This was a long time ago, though. I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna all the bitches in overseas countries. I'm trying to get pregnant. I might have a chick that come out in like 15 years, bro. It was this one Korean chick I was dating. And we was not safe. That's fucked up. What if me saying is uh, a baby pop up? Motherfucker be like, hold up. Because somebody did, but I think they were scamming me. Damn. <laughs> For the abortion money? <laughs> somebody did be up one time like, no. Nah. It was a dude. He was like, yeah, you fucked my girl a long time ago. And she had the baby. And his, his, his name, <laughs> he told his name. He's like, but we don't need you. I got it. I'm holding it down. <laughs> You sound like a soft <laughs> ass man. But no, I did my homework on Why this. Why would he even DM you? No, I did my homework on this and it was all fake anyway. It was like some African scam and they was trying uh, to get me to send them money. I'm like, damn, that was a smart way because they had me fucked up for a minute. Being a stepdaddy is one of the most disrespectful forms. Like, women got more respect for gay guys than stepdaddies. I'm a stepdaddy. Well, I, that. <laughs> How old is the kid? 21 now. Oh, okay, you 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 out of that range. You know what I'm saying? I did my job. What I look like getting with a girl, I'm young getting with a girl with a four or five year old. See, that's different. Mine's, she ain't had a baby. Exactly. Yet. Would you get with a girl with a four or five year old? You got to see the daddy and you doing better uh, than the daddy? It's, it's really hard. It's really hard. Man. I, that is really hard life to live. I mean, I've seen people, I know homies, I got all that shit. That shit is really hard. Man. Yes. And then especially after a while, the kids start respecting you. You, they call you by your first name and shit. Like, man, I hate my mama's stepdaddy. Hey, Danny. Danny. <laughs> Danny. Step bitch, step daddy some next level shit. Danny, Danny I want no Chick fil A. But sometimes <laughs> it is. I mean, at the end of the day, some like kids have been saved because of having a man, just regardless of what. I know I don't because make a good step daddy. Because I know I've, I've, I've seen certain situations. That's the most fucked up part about that right. whole situ- scenario where you get with a girl that got kids and then you get a fucking relationship with the kids. And now you might be done with this bitch, but you be like, man, I can't leave this bitch. I love the kids. Right. I can't, you know, and I seen, I know a lot of men get stuck in that loop, and that's the hard. You feel like you'll be a good stepdad if a chick had a four or five year old? I know I'm, I, I'm a Not horrible, at this age. I'm a horrible stepdaddy, bro. I got two kids of my not own. Not at this age. I can't watch myself. Right. I'm not, like, I buy my kid shit, and I'm supposed to buy your kid the same shit, and then they call me by my first day. It's a slippery slope, but I guess I guess that's what you're saying in some sense. Like, man, if you mean that's just like a, a no if a girl got like Come a, on, man. I can, I can comfortably get my kids what they need, but do you add your kid to the I mix? I feel like time is a lot different than, than what it was back in the day, because I feel like we went through our era, well, mine, it was like a, a teenage pregnancy was like a fucking pand- a, a epidemic right. or some shit right now. People ain't having kids like that. They're right. young, they're young no more. If, if, that if shit a no chi- more. If a chick have a kid. So, yeah, I can see that's different. Situ- scenarios now then back in the day all them bitches had kids you wouldn't meet no yeah. bitch without no kid you get what I'm saying if I get with a girl with kids now her her da- her baby daddy need to be a deadbeat I don't want to see him I want cause I don't want what I do to do I don't want what I do during the week to be you know noil and voided or he throw a big spade down on the oh, weekend yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah yeah on the oh, weekend yeah. he throw a big spade <laughs> <laughs> he throw a big spade on the weekend <laughs> you do all the hard <laughs> you do all the hard work this nigga just come through drop some couple pieces down <laughs> we go to they go to the movies and shit they're yeah. like fuck what you talking about right exactly that is the tr- I never looked at it like that exactly. that is the whole ass shit yeah he dropped the big spade down on Friday like, you do all the work <laughs> this nigga come through I love my kids I don't have to run her bath he water he take the Instagram Ch- doing pictures and all that shit like I'm doing I'm a great dad he can mow bitches off how good he a dad is and this nigga you ain't even doing the hard part <laughs> exactly bro the hard part is the worst yeah I need if I fuck you if I fuck with you and you got kids 
Your baby dad need to be a dad beat. But I will say, kids, I mean, I wish, it was a time in my life where I was like, man, I need to have kids. Just, I had a discipline aspect. Mm. But now I'm like, man, that's retarded. Yeah, very. Because <laughs> a kid, kid ain't gonna make you mature. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm I was still a whole ass nigga when I had my first child. It wasn't until like my second child when I. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, this is real. <laughs> yeah, I guess you, you can put of... on child support. That should have sold you up, dude. For real? Oh my god, that should have make you mature. Because <laughs> at first I thought it was a game. I wasn't even paying it until they suspended my license. They, they like, suspended your in, license in California. I was like, fuck. But child support? How is that even a thing? I don't know, bro. I don't know how the DMV so got it. So they're like, hold up. You can't drive because you owe money. Right. You a deadbeat dad can't drive. Oh, because they want to lock you up. So they, they can't. They can't. Well, you know, California, uh, the jail population is too yeah, overcrowded. Yeah, so crowded, so. And you know, when you go They're to, trying to get you another case. When you go to jail. Driving well, without a license. But when you go to jail in California, it be, it be taking off money from whatever you owe. So if you go to jail and do like a week, that might take away all your child support. Oh, really? You know what I'm Damn. saying? Yeah. That's that's oh, that's bizarre. Well, yeah, child support is because uh, every time I've been locked up in the county, the child support niggas, they, they be, the shit be so overcrowded, they put them niggas in the gym. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like I'm yeah. never glad child support niggas sitting laying on the ground in the jail. Man, hold up, all right. Let's get to some of these ex dannies, man. Ex Danny. So first one, purity ring. Hey Danny, my favorite song of yours is 25 Bucks. I was wondering if you ever collab with Purity Ring again, or is there any other artist you want to collab with? Saw so Purity Ring last month. She was like, Yeah, of course, Purity Ring, that's my family, man. I love them motherfuckers, man. Every any given time, uh, they want to do some music together. I'm always down to fucking work with them. I just think, um, I don't know, maybe the last few albums. I don't know. Like me, when I hear some shit and I know somebody will fit with that shit. So yeah, if I ever make some shit and I'm like, oh shit. This is this. I need Purity Ring on this shit. Definitely hit them up, and I hope they do the same with me. That's my family. So yeah. Where they from? Purity Ring. Um, Nova Scotia. <clears throat> yeah, That's I actually fine. been out there with them. Actually, um, had a good time. We played a lot of shows. Yeah, Purity Ring, man. It's my family. Yeah, I love those guys. What kind of money they got in Nova Scotia? They got uh snowshoes. <laughs> what snowshoes? Probably you know? called Scotians. You know what I'm talking about? Them snowshoes. The ones the with... look like tennis rackets. Oh yeah, them. they really wear them shits out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, nah, yeah, yeah, them, them shits. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's Nova Scotia shit right there, man. Types of snowshoes for big people and heavy loads. That's what that's I'm really saying. that's. I don't. I don't really feel like, man. I, I never want to live in a place where I I would ever have to wear those. No. I actually had a show in Alaska, but the shit got canceled because of COVID. You know, everything got canceled, and I was so excited to go out to fucking Alaska. I don't know why. I'm in Alaska soon. You oh, are you? Yeah. Uh, Afro man live out there. You do? Yeah. Remember when Afro man knocked that bitch out on <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> hey, I just saw Afro Man play the sold out <laughs> show full of white woman. <laughs> he knocked it. He knocked it. <laughs> we can't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> what but, was what was the backstory behind him knocking that girl out? She was just on stage ruining the set. Wow. He like, bitch, I take this shit serious. Get off the stage. <laughs> you over here, oh, over here dancing, like doing some bullshit. Get up off my shit. <laughs> but Afro, Afro man, I think he really on some pimp shit. Cause I seen him in the airport one time. He had like a full, full fur coat on with the cane. He's walking like it was, it was crazy. I'm like, damn, that's an Afro man. And he lived in Alaska. Yeah, that's what I seen. Yeah, Did he know you in Alaska. Nah, <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't know. Because I got high. Because I got high. No, I actually saw him like high. I saw a video of him. He was playing a live show, and you know, you know, we know that song, and I think a few others, but he was like saying, I like deep cuts, and they knew all of them. I'm like, damn, Afro man is cracking. I ain't know that shit damn. was like that. So yeah, shout out, music, bro. yeah shout out to Afro man, but yeah, he shouldn't hit that bitch like that though. <laughs> For real though, in public, like live on stage, man, that was bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I kept watching that shit back. I felt bad, man. Yeah, I watched it too. I was laughing. <laughs> I want to watch it now. I just know that's not a good idea. <laughs> What's up, Danny? I've been a fan of yours since I was in eighth grade around the time Triple S came out. Been rocking with you ever since. Also, watch a lot of workaholics around the time. So the picture of you guys is iconic to me. Can you explain this legendary picture? I feel like it's got a good night behind it. The boys look geek. Been loving the podcast. Oh, this was actually in Austin, Texas. This was, um, I was actually playing um, Fader Fort, South by Southwest. This was just South by Southwest. And um, yeah, Blake is, a, me and him have a lot of um, mutual friends. So yeah, I think I was hanging out with Blake. 
And we were just walking around six streets, and then we ran into the other two guys. I'm like, oh, shit. So I was a huge workaholics fan at the time. But no, nah, them niggas had other shit to do. They were like, we ain't hanging with you. They left me where I was standing. <laughs> and <he kept> it <laughs> moving. <laughs> we took that picture. I know it sounds like it was an iconic hangout, but no, that was me being a fan. We took the picture, and they That's got up funny. out of there. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to be hanging with me past, um, I, I don't, and I, you know what? I don't blame them. I, 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 I would tell them. If I was you... Depending on what type of situation or what you got going on in your life, I wouldn't hang with my ass either. Bro, I just heard a funny story about you, dog. What's that? I heard that you was hanging out at the mansion, and they was trying to get you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you was hanging out at the mansion, and they was trying to get you an Uber to your house, and when they asked you for your address, you just started throwing up gang signs. <laughs> <laughs> I really took too many months. I already told the podcast about this story. I don't want to talk about it no more because I feel so oh bad my, about it. Bro, I was crying when I heard that. My whole, I, was, I was really tripping, man. It's one of those things where it's like, man, what it is, I mean, you're going to have to pick one. If you're going to do mushrooms, you could do mushrooms. You're going to drink, you can drink. But you can't mix those two. Nah. That's one of those things you don't need to be mixing. Did you get home? Bro, all right, I got to tell you since I ain't told nobody. <laughs> My recollection of this shit is that um, I called myself an Uber. It took forever for me to get it. But when it finally came, I put in the wrong address and it dropped me off in my barbershop. <laughs> I just got out the pool. I got flip-flops on. I got I'm wet, kind of like, uh, boom. So they dropped me off at the barbershop. And my girl, I got my location on. So she's saying that I wasn't at the crib. So she just came and picked me up from the barbershop. Oh, that's lit. But what what no, barbershop you go to? That's not the story. Oh. <laughs> the story is I did actually get a crib home. I, the, the Uber brought me to my house. But once I got to my neighborhood, I couldn't find my house. So I'm just wandering around the neighborhood till I got to the point of like, fuck that shit. And I put my, because I'm thinking I'm not at the crib and I'm trying to call an Uber. To, I'm tripping mushrooms and I'm drunk. Yeah. But I called an Uber to the barbershop. Because my girl was like, your location said you was here. You were at the door. The next <laughs> thing I know, I look back up. You are going to the barbershop. So, she and did. I would have definitely went to jail if I'd have been standing out in that parking lot. And then it's the fucked up part is, once I got to the um, barbershop, the lady kicked me out the car. She's like, fuck that. It's an African lady. She's like, get out. It's five in the morning. Get the fuck out my Uber. <laughs> She's like, get the fuck out my Uber. And I got, a, I got an Uber. Now I'm trying to look for my phones to call my Uber. And I can't find my phones. So I'm just sitting in the parking lot. I'm just freaking out now. I'm like, and I know it's probably cameras everywhere. I'm looking retarded. So eventually she came and pulled up, saved me. But then that's the same day we did the podcast. I went home. <laughs> Yo ass is crazy. I went man. home. I think I went to sleep for like two hours. I got up, took a shower, and came here. Just like, I got to keep drinking at that point because I was about to pass out. <laughs> I swear to God. I was so dehydrated. Like, I didn't eat shit. <laughs> You and know, and you, you owe me a TV. And I owe you a TV. Just cash out me on, on that. Right? I don't got cash out. All right, Because I know you I buy. Zell. No, I don't. I don't got Zilly. Listen, he, I got y'all PayPal. Think he, Booth, y'all think he lying? I got PayPal. All right, PayPal. Man. All right, I'll, I'll do a PayPal. It. Yeah. How much you going to send me? I'll do it in increments. This nigga. Because <laughs> Danny, when I first moved here, Danny was like, I didn't buy a TV for like three days. Because Danny was like, man, I'm going to buy you a TV. Don't, don't. All right. <laughs> I'm going to buy you a TV. That's nothing. We go to Best Buy now. What card do you want to use? You shouldn't. See, at that time, this I was still off the mushroom trip. I was still off. I was on my bender. But yes, I'm a man of my word. And you then, got me. And you then, got me. And then he going to tell me, you don't need no TV. I'll bring you a TV. <laughs> I'll just, just bring you a TV. I'll just bring you a TV. He's like, some black people I'm shit. Like, what kind of TV you going to bring me? A curve. Nigga, I'm I with a, the curves. <laughs> I don't want no TV from your house, nigga. <laughs> hey, gonna be right. I got cuz when I moved to Austin, Texas, I sold my house. <laughs> so I got like I got so many TVs at my studio. <laughs> at, Where you was living at? Uh in, in Michigan. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I sold my house out there. But then I moved downtown thinking I was about to go down there and be on like some bachelor living like I was Frazier. Yeah. And then COVID nineteen hit, and I was just in that bitch sitting there, that bitch crying, looking, <laughs> listening to jazz music and shit, watching everybody, black and white movies. Everybody cried during COVID, bro. I thought I thought I had to get a regular job, bro. Man, because I, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure me and you both in the same sense where I make most of my income from shows, right? So me and not able to go out, I like I had to cancel a whole fucking European tour. I canceled a, a whole bunch of festivals and all that, and I. I mean, that was fucked up for me. But I think the worst part of it was I ain't never spent that much time at home in my life. I haven't been in Detroit 
that much time yeah. in over yeah. 10 years. So just being there for that long was that's what was depressing yeah. me. I was <laughs> I'm flying. like, what the fuck is going on? I was so flying. you were still running around doing shit. I was just going places, couldn't do nothing, but I was, bro, tickets were like $15. Yeah, I know, I know. I just was like, I was, I was flying people out to hang with, you yeah. know. I was doing that, but no, that was, it was really a, a, a dark time in my life. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I started drinking a lot. Started eating the worst food. You, you know, you started just, it was it was really bad because at the end of the day, that could have been a time when you could be like, oh, I can get everything I got. I'm about to work out right. I could have came out of COVID with muscles. You could have, but it was like. <laughs> yeah. I could have, but. Yeah, well. I mean, now we've been, we've been, I've been trying my best to live in. That's the whole point of me moving out here. I feel like I can live a, a definitely a healthier lifestyle than I was in Michigan. Right. Austin, you know. No, Austin. no, they got it together. Like, yeah, even though, because when I first moved out here, you know you're going to eat, you going to eat fucked up. Yeah. Like, um, just, well, barbecue you know, ain't that bad if you just eat the meat. Don't eat the sides. That's what it'd be. Yeah, it'd be the and sides. And the carbs, just all the bread yeah, and shit, yeah. too. They get, they if you just eating the meat, yeah, because even me just grilling all the time. And I, I've seen a big difference yeah. in that and from me eating out all the time. But I would say, just from that, they season shit different out here. Yeah. That's just point blank. So heavy even, salt. Heavy so salt. even when you're eating healthy shit, it's kind of a whole nother level than it would be anywhere else. I right. kind of feel like. Right. They just care about their food. But I part two, the fucked up part is being in Austin, I mean, or Texas in general, it's kind of cool to be fat. Yeah. They, you they, can get bitches out here being fat. This ain't like nowhere. Well, I've got bitches everywhere being fat. I mean, you a cool fat uh, nigga. Yeah, it's yeah. only so many cool fat niggas. Some of them talking about it's almost kind of like co-signed out here. Right. Because they right. got the whole football niggas and shit <laughs> like that. Texas just a football everything lifestyle. Everything bigger in Texas. Yeah, everything just bigger. So I always say like, like uh, you can be like I, like I brought my fat homie out here with me. That nigga getting bitches everywhere we go. It wasn't like that in LA. <laughs> it ain't like that in New York. But in no. Texas, they like, what's up with you? What you do? New York like big niggas. New York like uh, Africans and shit. They like, Brooklyn? Them Dominican girls? With skinny jeans on, bro. Yeah, niggas with them, skinny jeans. They they love big niggas, bro. I mean, they like to feed niggas out there. They do, they do. I used to have this one chick in L.A. Bad, bro. Mixed girl. She was like Egyptian and black. She didn't want to fuck me. She didn't want to date me. She was into that like ASMR, whatever that shit called. ASMR. She, yeah, she's she would literally just take me out because I got big lips, and she would take me out to eat, and she'd be like, "I'm gonna take you wherever you want to eat." But when you get food on your mouth, you can't wipe it off. I got to wipe it off. And I'm going to lick at your lips the whole time. And I want you to smack. Yeah, it was weird, bro. But I was I was getting wine and dine. It sounded like a good time. Yeah, it was cool. But I, 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 I kind of wanted to hit. It's like some fetish shit. That's what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, she, was fucking, was, she was fetishizing yeah. you. She told me she didn't want to fuck me or date me. She just wanted to see me eat. Oh, my. That's <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a creepy bitch. She was bad, bro. Bad. That's some creepy bitch. All right. Here's the last one. Wife's not pulling her weight. Hey, newest Hitler. I've been married for nine years. The past three years, I've been working and making decent money, but the financial stress is starting to get to me. Mm. My wife is disabled. Had a traumatic brain injury. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't read. <laughs> Go to another one, bro. <laughs> Go to another one. Go to another one, bro. <laughs> I gotta get through it now, man. I Go gotta, to... I, cause I gotta know what happened now. I can't just keep. I can't leave this. I can't I, listen to this. I'm I can't leave it with AIDS, man. Oh All right. my god. My wife not pulling her weight. <laughs> All right. I've been married for nine years. The past three years, I've been working and making decent money, but the financial stress is starting to get to me. My wife is disabled, had a traumatic brain injury as a kid, but she is very high-functioning, smart, and mobile. She used to collect $800 a month in disability while we was in school, <laughs> but now I make too much money, not trying to flex. And the government has cut us off. So all the financial burdens on me. I asked her to try to get a part-time job to earn some money on her own. <laughs> <laughs> she got and a brain disorder. <laughs> she's applied to hundreds of places. <laughs> but, she, <laughs> but she only got one interview. <laughs> Hold up. I wouldn't buy her not working if she was helping her ride. <laughs> but I do all the good they clean. <laughs> she seems to be content watching TV, riding her mom's horses, and shopping on Amazon all day. This My bitch can ride horses, but she can't get a job. My friends say I should get a divorce, but I know her parents will legally destroy me since they have money for lawyers. And she and she and I don't have a prenup. Plus, I'd be really sad to leave our two chihuahuas that belong to her. 
If you can give me some advice, I'd turn into a telescope. Thanks, Danny and the Booth Boys. I think this nigga lying, man. Ain't no way. This don't sound <laughs> real to me, man. This sounds like a person that has a very motherfucking dark sense of humor, Oh, man. my God. That was And funny. I really feel bad if this is true and you really was hitting me up for advice, but uh, you can't leave no retarded bitch. You got to hold it down. You yeah, made you your do. leg. You do. You made your bitch. You got to lay on that shit, man. You can't But you knew she had a brain development issues before you married her <laughs> and over, and you knew she was lazy because nowhere in America is $800 a month enough. Nowhere. In high school. They was in high school. Yeah, but they got married. In high school, my bitch was getting $800 a month. Man, we been eating Benny Hanna's. Yeah, in well, high school. But as an adult, that's not enough. So uh, that's that's the fault is on you, bro, because you knew she wasn't going to get no job. And you should have researched disability before you got married. And they said, did you say they had kids? No, they got two chihuahuas. Oh, yeah, two chihuahuas. Oh, well, so it shouldn't be that bad of a divorce. I mean, it ain't kids and boys. I mean, if you want to be with the Get bitch, a side man, bitch. Yeah, she retarded. Go, go to a smaller apartment. How you not going to cheat on a retarded bitch? Yeah, man. How you going to get caught? How you not? Yeah. <laughs> Why is we having this conversation? You can tell her You can't anything. be a real man. This can't be a real guy, dog. Tell that she bitch. has a traumatic brain injury, yeah, man. Bitch, I'm pretty gotta... sure certain shit. You could just get away with a lot of shit than most average men right. can, man. You are actually in a good situation. I pray for a bad bitch with a post-traumatic brain injury. Exactly, bro. I, that's I kind of want me a girl with Asperger's. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I always thought about midgets. That's a, yeah. How can a midget tell you not to go fuck a real woman? I would just get bigger furniture. <laughs> she need me all the time. <laughs> You gotta give her a boost, nigga. Like you're I go on me. tour, I'm gonna have to leave her. She's gonna be like, man, I was here by myself. I couldn't get in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, I love you. <laughs> Midges be thick as hell, though. Uh, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. I can't watch that TLC midget show. <laughs> that shit is fucked up, man. But hey, old boy, need to just get a side bitch, move to a smaller house, or quit. I quit my job. It depend, if it's a career job, he said his parents got money. <clears throat> yeah, why you not asking up for money? Take take this to them. Be like, look, look, yeah, it's part two. They cut off her shit. Yeah, I I can't do it by myself. I've been holding they, it down. This bitch, yeah. ain't, she got. The, I mean, oh yeah, she said she ride. He said she, she rides, rides her horses. mom's horses. Yeah, she ride horses. And Broke people don't have own. horses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's my whole shit. Like I would just, I would just start being a bum ass nigga. Like if you got to make the bitch leave you. Be dirty. Yeah, be just dirty. Make the bitch leave you. Be dirty. You stop stop washing. The, yeah, you, you, you got to make her leave, leave you. You got to yeah. make the bitch leave you, man. Sometimes yeah. that's how that go. Yeah, you got to cheat. But she retarded. She might not leave. Right. That's the thing. He might try. To, he might explore all these options. Stop Stop. Cook, <laughs> stop cook, Stop cooking. Stop picking up the chihuahua shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't get we. Well, we goddamn. We ain't even drunk this time. We gonna, retarded is going to get us canceled this time. No. You knew what you was doing with this one, Zolo. You knew damn well when you read this shit. I like what you think one of y'all y'all niggas could scribe this shit together, man. Like this, so let's see how good we is at writing. This like I a, wish I could come up with this. This is a Saturday Night Live skit, man. I actually <laughs> want to see the movie. Like, just write this a script for the next movie, man. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh, God. Because, I mean, it's a lot of men that go through shit like this. I mean, that get stuck in relationships with women that they want to leave. See, bitches don't think that. They always think it's just all about them, but it's a lot of men out there in this world that just stuck in a, in a situation, a relationship, yep. and they want to yep. get the fuck on, but they just don't know how either. They just stuck too. Certain shit like scared. They got kids. I mean, especially when motherfuckers move to move in different cities together and shit like that, and you got rent. Like, like I know a lot of people in New York that they started out living together, and now they just roommates. Right, right. They started out as a relationship. Yeah. Sometimes you can't break up for economic economical. That's reasons. the worst yeah. shit. Yeah. That is the worst shit. So now I've been there nigga, before. I've been there before too. Yeah. Like what? So if a girl, if a girl got good pussy or a man got good dick, how 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 much how how long do you think that gives somebody? N I, not me. Don't give me shit. If a girl got good pussy, no, and she's just a horrible chick, they don't give you. It's that? all about if she gotta have some money. Okay, that's I, the only thing that's gonna change that situation. Now, if this bitch balling and she on some other shit, doing cool shit, like, all right, I'll let that go. But if you just, I don't give a. If you got good pussy and you just a super trash person, like, fuck no, I'm not. If I'm a broke ass nigga and I need you for some shit, then yeah, that's another situation. But I got shit going on for myself. I'm not just dealing with no bitch. It's a th billions of bitches with good pussy. Right, right? that's the right. one thing you can get. Fat bitches got good pussy. Pregnant bitches got good pussy. Skinny, skinny girls. Got pussy. Yeah, oh my god, <laughs> that shit retarded. So everybody right? got good pussy. But skinny girls got the best, right? They, I mean, I can't really 
they, I'm skinny too, so the pelvic bone oh, okay. versus pelvic bone turned into Muay Thai fighting. But skinny girls can take anything. So I can't be just, yeah, not, and you got to beat them down and do all that. So And then fat girls, I got to lift and hold up so much shit. It's a workout. By the time I'm done, it, yeah. So I just need a moderate. Moderate is my um, favorite. What's your weight class? Like what, 130 to 170 for chicks? Shit, I like fat bitches, nigga. I'm skinny too. We can go. Yeah, I, skinny niggas do be. I hit some big shit. Y'all be knocking them big hoes. I hit, I, I, Would you hit Lizzo? Nigga, in heartbeat. For real? I ain't think twice. Pull up Lizzo booty, man. I don't think he's No, seen I've seen the booty all the time. You'd hit that from the back. In the dark. <laughs> Lizzo's, Lizzo's, from, uh, Lizzo's actually a great person. I've hung out with Lizzo a few times. She's very nice. And yeah, she's cool as fuck, to be honest. All but, big girls are nice. Most of the time. I yeah. guess you're kind of right. I guess you're kind of right about this. Yeah. But yeah, Lizzo, she just, you know, I seen her in the area Spears going down this weekend. Yeah, I just made a video about it too, bro. How, how, I, okay, can you kind of fill me in? Because I was coming back on the plane and shit, so I didn't really, I just seen the so videos Ari, about it. <clears throat> what did Spears, he actually say? Like, I don't know what he's Ari saying. Did a, Ari Spears did a- He uh, always be saying some foul shit, though. Yeah, he's funny, though. Ari Spears did a video, basically, and- um, they asked he, the 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 interviewer asked him about Lizzo, and he was like, uh, "She's cool, got good music, whatever, but she's shaped like the shit emoji." <laughs> <laughs> you just being a comedian. Yeah, he, he, being a he comedian, was just saying bro. a joke. That, it, like I made it. Yeah, body shame. What is body shaming, bro? I'm a big dude. It's not good to make it seem like it's okay for people to be overweight. What they're trying to do is just make it make it so you, that you can't even make fun of anybody. I mean, I, we all got flaws and we all got anything. I think it's just like if you hang around with, like, I, it's, this is only happening right now in our community. Hang around some Asian motherfuckers. You pull up, they go, Oh, you fat. Big fat men. <laughs> they just say shit like that for no reason. And I love that about them. So I think we should just go with that. Yeah, bro. I, I remember I was shopping in the alley downtown LA, you know, downtown LA. Mm -hmm. And uh, the flowers and this yeah, flowers, and I, all that I went shit. to an Asian shop. And I asked him, I was like, do you have 3X? And he said, oh, that's pig size. Oh, pig size. <laughs> that's what he told me. You're like, what? <laughs> but like, what I'm saying, they don't got no filter. They, they don't. Know don't. How to, it's they not, don't. To them, it's not bad. So, I mean, they was raised like that. So, I just think what they're trying to do is make it so that you can't bully, you can't make fun of anybody. You're going to get shamed for doing that shit. But I, I, I would, me, I grew up as a motherfucker with fucked up teeth my entire life. I've got, you know, picked on and fucked over for my teeth as a kid. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a flaw. But I think, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know if I can say I would be the person I was if I didn't have motherfuckers right, that right. picked on me right, right, as a right. kid. You know what I'm saying? It I builds was, character. Because I was soft as fuck. It yeah. got to the point where a motherfucker was fucking me so much. I'm like, fuck that, nigga. I'm about to whoop in the ass. Nah, man. I can't take this shit right. no more and start fighting back. I think it's certain motherfuckers probably born with that shit, but I don't think everybody's just born with the, with the killer instinct. No, like, I'm going to just... A motherfucker pick on me, I'm gonna fuck you up. Circumstances shit. make you like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you gotta go through some shit to be like. Don't that. you think bullying builds character? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I exactly. was bullied. I was exactly. Bullied. Yeah, I bullied motherfuckers too. Yeah, and they probably great people now because of you bullying them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, back when we was growing up, kids wasn't killing themselves, bro. Well, I mean, you're a little older than me, but kids wasn't killing themselves. No, yeah, that's what that was the difference. That's new. That's new. This is new. What's going on right now? Is something, new. bro. When I was in the third grade, I didn't even know how to kill myself. I thought killing myself was holding my breath. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but no, these niggas killing each other. Shit. Yeah. Younger yeah. and younger. That's what the difference is. All that. Now this is the first. This I feel like this is the first generation where the OGs are scared of the kids. You gotta be. These kids wild. Well, I'm saying they're not even trying to give me advice. They're not even trying to talk to them. They're, just they're like, I'm just scared of these little niggas. Fuck this shit. Right. And it's fucked up because we the OG that. That's our generation. Like, all these little niggas can be my kid in some sense. But I got a, I got a little brother. He's in his early 20s, bro. And I try to talk to them. They just dumb. No, yeah, you can't. No, they, they dumb. Kinda, no, and they look at you like you stupid. Unless you ride no private jets and got bills. Yeah. No, they got a war perception of what life is. They don't want to work. Yeah, so they're they like, nigga, you ain't, if you ain't got it, nigga, you ain't, you ain't balling like little baby, nigga. What are you talking about? You can't give me no advice. Like, well, they be like, up. what could a working ass nigga tell me? Yes, exactly. Or some shit like that. And then, <laughs> but it is different though. Cause you gotta yeah. think this is the first generation of kids where they really understood the scam and shit. Yeah. Because they, you know, back then we selling crack and doing dumb shit like that, making thirty dollars off a hundred. These motherfuckers hitting licks. So they doing that shit. And then just with the social media bands. and shit. Just doing social media shit. And kids, they've seen kids get rich off YouTube. 
You give it, imagine if you got a fucking classmate, this nigga a millionaire off YouTube pulling up with Lamborghinis and shit like that. You like nigga, fuck Gotta all fuck this up other your view shit. Of life. Yes, fuck all this other shit too. I'm gonna start a YouTube. I'm doing that shit too. Why wouldn't I? You give yeah. it them so their perception is warped a little. But see, bit. that's the problem when you chase it just because you see somebody else got it. It's not authentic. Yeah, it don't ever work out. It's never gonna work out for no. you. You know, or or even that when back on some street shit. Like if you ever seen a person like hit a lick or do some shit on some street shit, like I'm gonna do that shit. And the motherfuckers that you try get, to, and then you, you get be caught. the only one that get caught out <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't for you. Work. That's how that shit works. It ain't for you. So yeah, let's make let's make fun of some old people. What's the drip sets looking like? Drip set. Trip, trip, trip. Oh, this nigga Jack Harlow. Yeah, Jack Harlow. He got decent flow, but he dressed like Shaft. I don't know if I can say anything bad about him, but I don't know if I can say anything really good about him. And I feel like any person that's like that, it's kind of that's like fucked up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's yeah. like, um, I don't know, like. Because I'm like a person that you either hate me or you love me. There's no in-between type shit. Right, right. I feel like this is- I'm like, the same way. Like, even his outfit. <clears throat> this is like, in bet- like everything about him. His music, <laughs> everything, like his whole shit is that. You can't hate on this nigga, but I don't know if I can say I really love this shit. The outfit came from Rules to Go. I wear this, though. I wear what what this. are the shoes? Just like Neo Matrix shit. Uh. Oh, it's Hermes. Her- oh, Hermes. Yeah. I'm a nigga, man. Hermes. It's Hermes though. It is Hermes. I do know that. But I for now, I used to pronounce um Gavinci. <laughs> <laughs> I I've said it in rap songs. Ooh. I used to like say certain brands on uh, fucked up because that was like ghetto fabulous type shit, you know? Who's this? Before I start talking shit. Oh, Bad Bunny, oh, this is great. It's fire. I fucks with Bad Bunny. Yeah, Bad Bunny type. Yeah. He came out of nowhere. I just told you, man, like he does I feel like I, you know, certain artists I see and I feel like they feel like they puppets or something, and they're not really doing what they want to do, and certain shit like that. I feel he like doing what he, he move do. on his own terms. Yep. Like no one can make him do anything. Like they can't sell him or anything. Like you want to do this, you want to do that. He like, no, I'm exactly. doing this. Exactly. So like he he on a level where he's saying I'm doing this, and then the shit happened. They do yep. it. Yep. Because that's what I when I said like I was saying I seen him on the WrestleMania shit, or wrestling shit. I'm like, oh yeah, he fire. That's when I knew he was next level this shit. So shots out to Bad Bunny. These outfits ain't that bad. I've hung time. out with him and I've, I've, I know we can't even really joke on these niggas like that. I've, I've hung out oh, with him geez. and I listen to his music. I can't really know what he's saying. So I can't really feel like I can fully. Lil Nas guess. X. I love Lil Nas X. That man. nigga look like an eyelash kit. That, <laughs> that nigga don't even look real. <laughs> that nigga fuck? look like somebody just painted this shit, man. <laughs> Like, I'd be mad as fuck if I looked like this, Can man. Can you imagine that nigga sat next to you at the award show? Man, I couldn't look at him straight. That shit tickling he your turning, face. He turning <laughs> niggas gay. Niggas don't even want to be gay. They just like, man, I like bitches and shit. Then he show up. You're like, ah, I can't look at this nigga. He Wasn't it like, a rumor that he's not gay? He just used that to get popular? That nigga gay, man. I don't think that. It's, it's, it's too hard. He, he got it. He, 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 I mean, but I don't know. He's a straight, and I will say, out of all of it, like, all of the music and out of all that shit, he is one of the best internet trolls I've ever heard, I've seen in my uh, life. So as a, but yeah, I've seen that. What they've saying that, and I think uh, like the past few songs, like his rap music and shit, he's, he's made some of the best rap songs in the past few years. Like on the sense of like making pop rap, like shit that the kids will like, shit that the old people will like, shit that right. like everybody like in general. It ain't for it ain't for him, it ain't for her, it's for everybody. Right, right. And that's really hard to do, man, in this industry, man. So shouts out to Lil Nas X. Now I, showing up in a word show. I mean, Bjork used to do shit like this. Lady Gaga used to do shit like this. And like, it just seems uncomfortable. And he's, he's too oily in the chest for me. <laughs> like, this nigga was oil in himself. You think up. it's cocoa butter or oil? Shea butter. Shea butter. <laughs> he black. He got, he threw shea, shea butter, baby. He threw baby. some shea butter on. But Fuck this is what know. he really wore. Like, this is, red, this is his red carpet outfit? Yeah. How he walking and shit? There's no videos of him moving. It don't look like it's a, it's like a dress, like. Yeah, I think it just kind of goes around his legs. Like it's like Vegas showgirl. Hey, Danny Brown, you think you can hook me up with SZA? SZA? SZA's yeah. a very nice, cool girl. And I I think she do like big niggas. Yeah, I'm I saying. think you might have a shot. Slide in her DMs for me, dog. Yeah, I think you might got a shot. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 she might watch I see this. what's up. You know, <laughs> I mean, she like funny niggas. I'm you a real sure. one, bro. You a real one. I'm pretty sure she like funny niggas. Look at her. Yeah. SZA is actually beautiful, though. Like in real life, like, like you know, you know, cause you know how sometimes you see a lot of these girls, industry girls, or, or girls that's in the entertainment industry, and you see them and like, yeah, but then you see them in real life, you be like, what the fuck? 
She's actually like really like right, you could right. tell she beautiful without makeup and all that right. shit. Like if she was just in the hood on some and she seemed shit. like a hood chick. Yeah, if she was in the hood. Yeah, she's super, every time I met her, she was super nice. So shouts out to SZA. And she just I would say she's one of those type of artists where you can tell like every she's always on the strive to get better with her right. music. Like every right. time I hear her, like every new shit I hear, it's always it's just getting better and better. Right. And the fire and the the album, the one album that you know everybody loved that shit, Control. When that shit came out, I, I didn't think it was gonna get no better than that. And I think she about to top this shit. Oh really yeah, do. with that. Uh, what's that? I hate. What's that new song? Yeah, but I feel like she about to. I feel like she about to come through. Like when she come back again, she gonna top that shit. So, yeah, yeah. Shouts out to Scissor, man. We can't wait for you to come back. You're a beautiful woman, and my homeboy David Lucas said, "How at him." I'm, I'm, she I'm, gonna see this. I just feel it. I do too. I, do too. <laughs> I, feel, like, <laughs> I feel like you might got a shot. Yeah. I mean, you a funny nigga. Yeah, Bitches I need, love funny niggas. Yeah, they do. That's one thing I've always got away with, yep, being funny, man. Exactly. It never was, I don't think I'm that <laughs> handsome. I don't think I'm that handsome. But if you can make a bitch laugh, man, that's damn near the key. It's a wrap. That's a key It's a wrap. Because I've, I've definitely um, hung out with a lot of beautiful women that I don't think I could ever got if I wasn't funny. Mm. Just me being just regular Danny, Daniel, fuck that. No, it was the jokes. It was the jokes. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, think about it. If I, 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 I love women with a sense of humor. I love funny bitches. Like, I've been around, like, you know, some funny ass bitches. That's probably one of the most attractive women in the world, but I love to spend my time with them because they make me laugh that much. Did Just you fucking around know. with them? What do you mean, man? Because you talk about, you talk, you, you, you see, you try, because <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. You, you try to keep it straight, right? So you keep, yeah. But did you hit them? Did, did they make you laugh so much that we like, damn, I'm about to fuck the shit out of them? If they let me. <laughs> <laughs> if they let me. But no, nah, man. Yeah, but yeah. Ain't no ugly girl ever made me laugh so hard where my dick got hard. I'm a different man. <laughs> I really love people for them. I really not. I, I, I always kind of been like that, though. I think I've never been a look kind of person. When the last time you dated an ugly girl? Because I've seen your your the women you've been with. No, not really. I, I, I mean, well, I've seen the ones you bring in public. Yeah, see, that's a difference. That's a big difference. <laughs> That's a big difference. That's a difference. <laughs> I'm the type of nigga that would sneak around on some shit just so you guys ain't got no choice. Like, bro, uh, uh, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Sometimes, because you know why? I feel like you have to match up, look, some type of way, look wise. Other than that, it just look like y'all met on the internet. Ah. It's like, damn, so it's kind of embarrassing. You go out with somebody, y'all just look drastically like, how did this happen? Is this a blind date? <laughs> like, this is a Tinder swipe? Did this, and I don't even want to be, and I know you're not supposed to be the person that care about what other people think about you, but when you want on a date for the first time and you could tell everybody in the restaurant cracking jokes on yeah, y'all, yeah. it's never going to end well. Yeah. It fucks the date up. So yeah. I've been that. I One time that. I took a girl, I met a girl, not even met her. I was in New York. This is back in the day. And, um... It was like a double date type of situation. Like my yeah. homeboy and his girl, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna bring my homegirl. You know, we she needs she looking for somebody, y'all can link, maybe link up. I mean, we wasn't, you know, compatible look wise, I would say. We just looked different. Like I looked like a super like hipster nerd type of motherfucker. And then she looked like a straight up business woman, like the type of bitch that's wearing Hillary Clinton business suits right, type right. shit. She got the low cup. She looked like she running for politician. You know them black women type of bitch, lawyer type of bitch. Yeah, right? yeah. She wearing the little slides with the heel this big on the motherfucker. <laughs> and they guess where we go? To a motherfucking comedy show. Hilarious. Sitting front row. Who was the performer? I can't even remember, but he's still out here cracking to this day. I just nice. can't even remember it. Part two, I just don't want to say this nigga. But this nigga instantly, so, he couldn't even wait no time, dog. Yeah, tell me, tell me when we get off air. Yeah, no, but instantly just seen us and just started going crazy on us. Like, what the fuck y'all me on the internet? <laughs> this is definitely, and it just ruined the whole show. It was nothing that was about to happen with me and her after that. You get what I'm saying? Shit, it almost happened again here, fucking with Steve Byrne ass. Boy, that was, we ain't going to talk about that, because that take you down a, a dark rabbit yeah, hole. Yeah, a dark rabbit hole. Because, I hate that, because <laughs> when people see me with my girl now, it's almost like, blink twice, bitch, if this nigga kidnapped you. I'm not like, what makes you think this beautiful woman right here wouldn't want to hang out with a guy like me? I'm hilarious. <laughs> you see me? Like, come on, man, this shit is all fucked up, man. So, yeah. yeah. All right, what we got going on? Shit, huh? Thought we was looking at drip. I wanted to see some more. Oh, the drip set's over with. Fuck them niggas, man. <laughs> I got jealous, man, because it wasn't nobody we could roast. <laughs> it wasn't nobody we could roast. All yeah. right, I guess we could watch the freestyle because they never be bold. Niggas sit the freestyle in. Come on, watch this nigga. Let me hear you bust a freestyle. Uh, we got one about. this week from Strange Puss. Oh, shit. 
Shorty made my ass leak. She had ass leak. Shorty give me dick licks. She had dick ticks. Shorty eat me up like a fine Italian supper. Shorty cook my noodle like she made for butter rubber. Shorty said it's wiggly like a larvae. Shorty say she liked the way it stay up all day. Shorty say she liked the way I move an insect. Shorty said I got three legs like an insect. Pull up in my block, my glock, and my brock. Shorty give me water like a water in my crops. She want me wiggle it, let me jiggle it. She want me to jar it up so that she could pickle it. Shorty got my dick dead straight in the casket. Shorty eating up my balls like a Straight maggot, fuck it like I got three clitter eye. Piss in my face and come straight in my eye. Ouch, it hurts. I need some eye cream. The doctor diagnosed me. I'm a sexual machine. Damn. When your mama see this, she gonna kick you out the house. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some shit I would have wrote. And what's your pro now? She's rapping from a man's perspective. She's beautiful, man. She looked like the ghost of Amy Winehouse. I loved it. This this is something that I feel like I would have wrote back in my uh, you know, triple X days. So if that was you, you was going a wild for, boy on that triple X. Boy. Yeah. So yeah. If that was she was going for man. She she really she won. I, I really feel like I'm. It was great, man. I'm sorry. This is this is fucked up because I feel like I got David Lucas, who I feel like is the king of roasting shit. Like you, the top <laughs> roasting nigga. <laughs> and everything we got has been good shit, not to roast. It's yeah, been yeah, the yeah, most that, fucked up part yeah. about the whole shit. It's How was okay. that fucking um Ti shit? What Ti shit? Didn't when you on the Ti roast shit? Yeah. How was that shit? T.I. Right. Like, is he really like funny in real life type shit? I mean, the nigga owned the company, so it's like. You... I met him one time and he didn't like me, I don't think. He gave me one of those, you know, you're like, what's up, man? He's like, yeah, nigga. He tried real hard to be a good roaster, but it didn't really pan out for him the way. I just saw clips on that shit and I was like, oh, this nigga on there. We was like, I was like, it gotta be. I, I don't know why he wanna do stand up. That's my homie, <laughs> but I, I, it's almost like it's bucket list for him. Like, bro, you probably worth 100 million and now you wanna do stand up? This is a. Long, depressing, yeah. You come from a dark place. Journey, like, like I come from a dark place. You're too well off to do stand up. And I feel like we have so many different outlets. If you think you're funny, like what I'm doing right now, like right. you don't necessarily you can get your stand up shit get off a in, in a different shit. And you can do a live podcast if yeah. you wanted to, yeah. and that's no different than doing stand up. Yeah. The thing is, like I like I went on stage with Hannibal before, like and I burst. Yeah, and people always tell me I'm funny. You could do stand up, but I was like, man, you know what? I don't think it's something I ever want to do because I would never want to put the actual work that it goes into it. Hannibal, bro, he been off the scene for a minute. He I rapping now. All right, in the, <laughs> in the podcast, <laughs> Hannibal Burris is not rapping. Yes, he is. He's named all right in the podcast. <laughs> That's what he been doing. I did a song with him. He been playing live shows. He just tried to have me come out to Philly with him. I just I couldn't. his energy though. He, he started microdosing, and he's like, you know Hannibal what? Hannibal Burst is the reason Bill Cosby we went got, to prison. We got to cut. We not cut. You know he the reason Bill Cosby went to prison? I know, and that's his whole, I think he feel bad about yeah, that. Yeah, he does. And it doesn't, and he, he so he's just like. Rapping? <laughs> All right, that has been the Daddy Brown Show. <laughs> <laughs>